Stan Gibalisco here, showing you a crude drawing of a laminated core um, as used in an alternating current transformer, um, showing also a couple of turns of one of the windings and how these windings are wound, uh, go around the core. This is this is called an O core for obvious reasons. Uh, well, maybe not so obvious. It's if you look at it flat on, face on, that is from above in this diagram, it would look sort of like the letter O. There are other forms of transformer. The E core is a common type. Um, I think I've made videos on that type of transformer as well, but what I'm aiming at here is the meaning of the term laminated when it comes to the core material in a transformer. If you use solid iron, just plain solid iron, or any other solid ferromagnetic substance as the core for a transformer, you're going to have problems because you're going to get circulating currents in that iron which will heat it up and cause loss and loss of efficiency for your transformer. It can, in the extreme case, actually heat up the core to the point where it cracks uh, or otherwise is damaged. Uh, but to prevent these eddy currents, these circulating currents from flowing, having been set up as uh, electric currents by the magnetic field produced by the windings, you can, you can break up the core into sheets that are each coated with an insulating material, kind of a lacquer, that will not conduct electricity and will not allow these eddy currents to flow. Uh, it sort of chokes them off. It makes it impossible for these eddy currents to occur. That is what is meant by a laminated transformer core, or a laminated core transformer. It's a quite effective at 50 or 60 hertz alternating current for the purpose of power transformers. It begins to get lossy, though, if you get into audio and radio frequencies. More often than powdered iron or ferrite, uh, which is a special uh, trade name for a high permeability powdered iron. These uh, types of materials are, work better at audio and radio frequencies, but not so well at alternating current power frequencies like 50 or 60 hertz. Then you're best off with a laminated core transformer. And if you've ever seen the power transformer in a linear amplifier that uses well, particularly that it uses vacuum tubes, but any heavy-duty electrical appliance that has a transformer in it, chances are, if you care to take that transformer apart, if you take the coating, the covering off of it, thereby destroying it permanently and rendering it useless, <laughs> if you find it at a junk uh, flea market at a ham radio convention, for example, and you don't plan to use it for anything, uh, you're used, going to use some of the other parts. Uh, you can, or if you plan to reuse it, if you want to create a new uh, transformer and wind some new windings around it, you'll see the laminated slabs. They're, they're pretty hard to miss. And that prevents these eddy currents, these circulating currents from flowing. And that's uh, why we use laminated core transformers in power applications, and that's what the term laminated core transformer means. Now you're that much wiser, right? Stan Gibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73, which means best regards and so long, which, in the CW produced by the ham radio transmitter, powered by a power supply with a laminated core or any other type of power supply. So long, which translates to di-di-di-da, di-da.